Hopefully it didn't count as a death and it just counted as me like falling off because I didn't die. Elizabeth, wait! The skyline's a little bit buggy. Whoa! <laughs> to follow me, Mr. Twit. Elizabeth, I've made an arrangement to get our airship back. You can get us out of here. Yes, I just need to supply enough weapons to arm an entire uprising. And where will we get these weapons? From one of our many friends and allies? A gunsmith in Finkton should be a walk in the park. What do you say, partners? You're a liar, Mr. DeWitt, and a thug. But you're also my only means of reaching Paris. <laughs> Character interaction is weird. It feels very unnatural. Don't get too comfortable with my company, Mr. Dewey. You are a is a trickster. No more. They live to stir up trouble. So you'll be well, Mr. Peter. They will leave you with none but the sun. I know they'll reward you. Wow. That would be your gunsmith. The finest person. Daisy Fitzroy. She's either a great hero or the worst of scoundrels, depending on who's doing the telling. She's good for an airship. I don't care if she's the Queen of Holland. The truth is, I don't have a lot of time for all that prophecy nonsense. I tell you, belief is, is just a commodity. And old Comstock, well, he does produce. But like any tradesman, he's obliged to barter his product for the earthly ores. You see, one does not raise a barn on song alone. Oh, no, sir. Uh, that's Fink Timber, a Fink Hammer, and Fink's hand to swing it. <laughs> he needs me, lest he soil his own. Jobs today. We are not looking for any help. You hear that? No help. How are we going to get into this? Illegally. Let's look for another way in. Could you take a look at this lock?
Smith Chen Lin. Got a lock, needs picking. Connections to the outlaw Daisy Fitzroy. Looks like our guy's drawn attention. That's not good, is it? No. Elizabeth? Looks simple enough. It's Slate's locker. It's my mother's diary. Why would Slate have it? My husband claims the child was created from whole cloth by divine will. I am a believer, but I am not a fool. His bastard shall not be raised under this roof. My mother. She had me locked in that tower. Elizabeth. I just want to get out of this city. Please. You know what would be nice? If I could freaking hear the goddamn audio tape. Ugh. I hold in my hand the private journal of Comstock's wife. It puts the lie to this miracle child nonsense. She loved the child not. It seems the sainted lady would have preferred to let the seed of the prophet just dry out on the bed sheets. Greetings. My name is Jeremiah Fick, and I want to share with you my personal creed. What is the most admirable creature on God's green earth? Why, it's the bee. Have you ever seen a bee on vacation? Have you ever seen a bee take a sick day? Well, my friends, the answer is no. So I say, be the bee. Be the bee. Yeah. Who is it? Uh, hello? Mr. DeWitt? Uh, yes. Hold for Mr. Fink, please. What's going on? Do it? Think here. Listen, my boy, we've had our eye on you, and I can tell you right now that you are our top candidate. Top! <laughs> now, uh, my associate, Mr. Flambeau, will help you with anything you need. <laughs> what the hell was that? I have no idea. He seems oddly pleased to make your acquaintance. Got an ego. Holy shit. <laughs> you know, I wasn't born deaf. <laughs> I hear what it is people are saying. And uh, but why is it, Mr. Fink, that we have to work 16 hours a day? <laughs> Let's be clear. I would like nothing more than to shorten your work day. But the fact is, I simply work. So now. Some say to me, think, why is it that we get paid in tokens that are only good at the company store? Well, I'll tell you what, I'll be damned if I let any of you poor folk get robbed at some shady establishment. You see, 
The Think Company store brings you Think products at a price designed specifically for the Think worker. Uh...